All right, hey, what's up guys? It's Roy here. So today I have the Subcase Mag XT case here. Now this thing is pretty dang sweet. Uh, it comes in at $24.99 on Amazon. There is an 8% off instant coupon that you can apply at checkout. Uh, Subcase was kind enough to send this out for review. I got the dummy model here for the S24 Ultra to kind of show it off for you. Uh, so let's jump right into it and let's kind of take a peek at the actual phone case itself. We'll talk about what's going on out here after we get it installed, but what's going on inside is pretty cool. So I really like this look here with the subcase branding, kind of like the little cube, everything, all that all over the place. You got the subcase branding as well, right in the middle, but with that circle design, which obviously you can see that's on the outside. And that's because we get mag safe charging capabilities with this, which is really nice. So you can do Qi wireless charging, and MagSafe charging with it as well. But just this rugged goodness, right? Just military standard drop protection, just really good looking phone case here. And then inside here, we do kind of have this like felt, like velour kind of fill material of this lens cover, which we'll talk about here in just a minute. But just rugged all around, guys. Just super, super, super rugged. So let's get this bad boy installed. So let's go ahead and grab this. Just gonna kind of pop in the corners, boom, boom, boom. And there we go. So looking at it, it looks sick. Like I just think it looks super rugged, just looks really good. This is the black color, but it does come in other colors as well. Uh, we do get that UB branding right there. Obviously that circle, like I said, is giving us that MagSafe charging capabilities. And we do have the little feet here that are gonna help kind of straighten out the back and help from sliding around. Uh, just some rugged looking designs here. So very futuristic, very military looking, uh, just all around super sick. But this right here is kind of the main piece of the puzzle here. And that's because this is a really nice rugged kind of metal kickstand slash lens cover. So if you open it up, you got your lenses exposed, where as you can see are nicely recessed in. We got some good protection, kind of that wide open cutout there, so no individual cutouts, which once again, I'm fine with. But since this is closing and it's gonna go over your lenses, which is not gonna just flat, just lay on top of it, there's gonna be a little bit of a gap, obviously, but you can boop, close it in and you're good to go. But since it is opening like that, it's a kickstand, which is so freaking cool. Um, so, you know, can you do portrait? Totally you can, but that means that the phone is flipped upside down. Uh, so the camera would be down here, like if you're trying to do TikToks or something. Uh, but the whole point of it is, is really to be able to kind of have it in landscape mode, watch a movie or whatever, but it's a very strong hinge. So you can kind of almost do it at any angle and have it sitting up very tall or very flat. I mean, I'm almost got it. I mean, it's, you know, right there and it still is staying and holding. So for me, like on my lunch breaks, this would be perfect to just kind of have sitting there, I'm eating my food, blah, 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 blah. And there it is watching, you know, my favorite YouTube people or whatever, but looks sick on the back. Now the sides here are really cool too, because we got this really nice ruggedness going on here. Uh, looks really good. We got some cutouts there. That's so that single cutout for the two mics up top. And then looking at the side, you can kind of see it's got that like kind of faux carbon fiber look as well, which just looks super sick. And then on the side here, we do get some subcase branding right there. So very, very subtle. And then once again, just kind of this grip right here, which when you're holding the phone, it does a good job with the placement where I would kind of hold it, especially with this being a bigger phone. Uh, but then we got our volume up and down buttons, which are actually kind of small, which is not a bad thing, but they are raised a little bit. So you can fill it, you know, uh, it's not a bad thing. I'm just kind of surprised. I just felt like these would have been a little bit bigger. And then if we go to the bottom, you can see that we do have our USB-C port cut out there, our speaker cut out, and then of course a hole there for our lanyard, and then our S Pen cut out, which that's kind of the design there, how it looks. And then of course on this side, just grippy grip patterns all around, which kind of has a rubbery texture to it. So it does feel good. It's not like slippery or anything, but that's just kind of the look. That's the top down look there. So 
Obviously this is sticking out a little bit, so when I do the wobble test here in a sec, we'll see how that does. And then if we look at the front, this is kind of the top down view here. So it looks pretty good, has some nice raised lips around the whole entire screen as you can see there. So no complaints at all in that department. And then that's just kind of the cutout there for the speaker up top. So it looks pretty good. And that's just kind of once again that look. So it kind of almost looks like a stun gun right there. So pretty cool looking. Now the wobble test. We'll do face down because I'm assuming it's flat and straight. So we're good there. Back down. I'm curious. Let me know, guys. What do you think? Is it going to wobble or not wobble? Eh, it wobbles. <laughs> so spoiler alert. So it definitely wobbles. But I wonder if we have it open, does it wobble? It technically does, but not really. I mean, I mean, you can see it right there in the, the reflection, but it's nothing like when you have it closed. So there it is, open, and then there it is closed. So. Not a deal breaker by any means, because with stuff like this, you're going to expect it to do that. And who's going to just be sitting there hitting their phone on a desk. But if you bump it or something, it just it's nice to know if it does it or not. Now, let's go ahead and do the clicky button test. So with the uh, power button, let's start with that. Oh, yeah, very clicky. And then the volume up and down. Oh, yeah. So very tactile, very clicky buttons. So passes with the flying colors. So happy to report that. And then uh, I can't do charging tests or anything, but what I would like to do is test the strength of this magnet. So let me grab my MagSafe charger real quick. So here's one that I have from the company Mouse. So if I slap it on, it's pretty strong because I will say that this MagSafe charger isn't the strongest one, like with the standard one, like from Apple, it's way stronger. Um, but I mean, it's holding it pretty dang nicely. So if you have like MagSafe accessories in your vehicle or you want to buy some just to be able to charge your phone, um, this is pretty dang nice. I mean, it is nice, especially for someone like myself who has an iPhone and who has a ton of MagSafe accessories already in my vehicle or at home to be able just to slap it on and just not even think twice about it and kind of universally use it just like I can universally use my USB-C chargers. Uh, I love that. Really appreciate phone case companies doing that for Android devices. So once again, big thumbs up. So yeah, so there we have it guys. So for the money being, you know, 20-ish bucks after taxes and everything on Amazon with Prime Shipping, this is a awesome phone case. Different, I love the look all around. I just think it's a really, 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 really good looking phone case. Very unique. Absolutely love this here. Just gives it just that, I don't know. I haven't played with a phone case that looks like this before. So it looks really, really, really good. So hit the like button if you liked the video. If you loved it, please subscribe. Ring that notification bell for up-to-date content. So be safe. God bless. I'll see you on the next one.